maybe just once we get to like 30, 35 minutes, we can just like decide that's the last topic. Whatever we're talking about, we won't just, just don't introduce anything new after that point. Working on something new. Very exciting. Cool. Yeah, of course, no problem. All right. Just finished shooting something very exciting that will be up uh, over the weekend here on the channel. Now that that's done though, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't left the apartment yet. That needs to change. Of course the first stop for the day is gonna be breakfast now that it's 2.30 in the afternoon. It's still breakfast. It's always breakfast to me. Um, today I'm just sort of prepping for the rock type event. Although now that you're watching this, the event is just about started. The only real bit of prep is something that someone suggested on Reddit last night, and that's to walk your buddy Pokemon so that it's almost complete, so that you're almost to the point where you're gonna earn a candy, because when they flip that switch tomorrow and your buddy distance decreases, you're automatically gonna earn three candies once it changes over to the decreased rates for the event. So if you're watching this video, as soon as it goes up, you have two hours, walk your buddy almost to the point where it's gonna earn a candy. And then once the event starts, you should get three candies right away. It occurred to me recently that I've never been to the other side of the harbor. That's not true, I've been over there, but not to play Pokemon Go, not since the game launched. And you know, I've heard, at least back at the beginning when people were still interested in exploring new areas, that good Pokemon would sometimes spawn on that side of the harbor, over by the Queen Mary. So. I figure I might as well go check it out, right? I've been living here long enough. I've been coming here long enough. Let's see what the Pokemon are like on the other side. This is it, the other side. Time to find out if the grass types really are greener over here. At this point, I'm honestly not sure exactly where I'm going. I've never been over here as a pedestrian, only in a car. So I don't even know if I can get to the Queen Mary this way, but I know it's this way, so that's something. I mean, at least there's Pokemon over here. That's a pretty big artillery, actually. Wow. It's weird seeing all that from this side. What's up here? Oh, come on. Oh well, it's just artillery. Ooh, shiny check. There's no shinies on this side either. found it. It's also a lot hotter than it was when I left the apartment. There are actually a good number of Pokestops over here. Oh wow, and the boat itself is even mapped. Nothing spectacular. There's a quillfish at the actual Queen Mary Pokestop. I'll take that. I hear your concern, and don't worry. Today's episode is not all about an old boat. There's actually a little bit of uh, interesting stuff to discuss. As you guys know, Niantic recently, finally, made a Niantic Help Twitter account where we can, you know, direct some questions at them. They're getting a little bit more involved in the community, which is definitely a good thing. But someone actually had the courage, had the uh, balls, to ask Niantic straight up to change the moves on his Dawn Fan after getting a poor move set on his evolution. And it might seem like a funny, strange thing to ask, but he actually got an answer. He got an answer for all of us in the community. And the answer was that Niantic is aware that players want a feature that will allow them 
to change their Pokemon's moves. So at the very least, we know that Niantic knows that that's what we want. They didn't specifically say that they're working on it, they said it's not available at this time, but they know that we want it. So, not with the gym rework, definitely, because that's coming very soon, um, but eventually, we will be able to re-roll or change our Pokemon's moves in some way. It might not be just a random re-roll, we might actually get TMs or move tutors or something from the main series games, but we are going to be able to change moves eventually in the future. That's good news to me. docked here. It's been here for I don't know how many years. My entire life, for sure. I'm sure way longer than that. So it's been here for a long time. Super old, and I guess it's just set up as like a hotel now. So you can just come stay on the boat if you're coming to Long Beach. It's right across the harbor from the Pike, so if you want um, an interesting Long Beach experience when you come out here to play Pokemon Go or whatever you're doing, it's always an option. I'm sure it's expensive. But it's still, it seems pretty cool. Here's a, uh, well, you know what this is. Let's find out what it actually is. That's not bad. There's actually a fair number of Pokestops over here. Like if I went down that way a little bit, I could probably get a quad lure set up. Not that I'm gonna do that because I'm super low on Pokeballs as it is. But speaking of Pokestops, I have some great news for you. A lot of people are reporting new Pokestops and gyms being added. It's all over Reddit. See, I'm super low on Pokeballs. Can't wait till that double item start. I might even buy some Pokeballs on sale. Who knows? Go Plus just burns through them. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people are reporting new Pokestops being added, and Niantic officially announced that Operation Portal Recon in Ingress has already added 64,000 new portals in one week. Come on, Paris. 64,000 portals is a lot. And as you know, portals eventually will become either Pokestops or gyms in Pokemon Go. Now, not all 64,000 of those are going to become gyms and Pokestops. Uh, Niantic has said that in Pokemon Go, they don't need as many points of interest as Ingress does because there are other elements to the gameplay, like catching Pokemon, and that sort of fills the space in between Pokestops. Whereas in Ingress, you pretty much need to interact with portals no matter what you're doing. So we're not going to get all 64,000 of those in Pokemon Go, but it seems like a lot of people are noticing new gyms, new Pokestops, all popping up as a result of Operation Portal Recon. Well, I'm going to start heading back towards the other side, but not before I catch this Stratini. It's coming up on 4.20 in the afternoon. The nest migration is scheduled to happen today at 5 p.m. So I'm gonna get across to that nest right over there and see if we can get something a little more exciting than not to this time around. All right, back on the familiar side of the harbor with an exciting egg hatch. Yes! That cuts the distance that I need to walk during this event by 100%. I'm done. I finally can get my Ampharos. 
now what am I gonna do for the event? Perfect. There's three right here. I'm in range of the gym. I got a poke stop. I'm just gonna train this up for the next four minutes or so while I wait for the micro. Oh, hey. I'm gonna add my Kangaskhan to this gym. It's not my drone up there. All right, there we go. That's uh, as much as I'd love to fight the Kangaskhan mirror match. Here we go. It's enough to level up. The Natus are still here. Someone took my spot. No, they are battling at the same time. Well, anyway, it just turned five o'clock. Let's see. Let's see the change. And he's so one of them. There, Hound Hour. Oh yes. I would gladly take that. Oh yeah, that's right. Can't touch them until I restart. But hey, Hound Hour. Three Hound Hours back to back. Hopefully, I can get one with good IVs. Uh, before this next nest migration in two weeks. I mean, Houndour's not like... Houndoom's not a great Pokemon. But again... Oh, look at that! Oh my god! That was almost perfect. HP attack. Best I've ever seen. Well, anyway, I have this Lucky Egg going right now. You know, I might as well... just do this evolution to close out the video. Where's my best Marie? 491. All right, here we go. This is the one. I was gonna expect to do this by the end of the event, but here I am doing it a day before the event even starts because I got one lucky hatch. I'll take it. <sighs> Flaffy. I'm sure I told this story on the channel before, but when Gen 2 first launched, the first day of Gen 2, with six hour lures running, I had a lure at the apartment, and a Flaffy spawned, but it was like 3 a.m., I was editing, and I just chose not to catch the Flaffy, because I had already shot so much and caught so many Pokemon that day. I just decided, uh, eh, I'll catch it another time. Here I am, how many months later? Three months later, and I finally have my Ampharos. I had no idea it was gonna turn out to be one of the rarest Pokemon in Gen 2, and Volt Switch Zap Cannon. Plus, from Auckland, nice. Really not a whole lot I can do as far as Pokedex completion right now. Just kind of waiting on some luck, find an unknown, get some King's Rocks, and some travel. Better start planning the next trip. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this one. Remember, the Rock-type event starts two hours from the time this video goes live. So for most of you watching, go catch some Rock-types. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you tomorrow.